It was already dark when we got the call. I stare out of my window as we transition through Bravo airspace. 120 knots, 700 feet. I always love seeing the city lights during our night flights. It was day three of three for me. I am tired, but happy to have the next two days off. I feel a blunt impact to my right side. Something soft hitting my face and air rushing in. Darkness. What the hell was that? I receive no response from the front. Time stops. Surprised that I am panicked yet calm. It's ironic I ended up as a flight nurse because I've always been afraid to fly. But I love the job and actually think it chose me. Someone once told me that it's not the flying that I fear. It's giving up complete control and trust to someone else. Approach, medevac, 145, Buffalo Tower, emergency. Go ahead. We're going to bird strike like the turrets. We're going to send you to the vessel, please. Buffalo 145, Buffalo Tower, turn right, heading on 250. Send the airport since you're uh, mounting to 12 o'clock and 6 miles. This can't be happening to me. My mind is racing and I'm shaking. Alone and isolated. Helpless. All I can do is wait. As the remaining windscreen continues to crack, the pilot slows to 40 knots to keep it from further imploding. We are diverted to an airport that is close by and given clearance to land. We follow the runway and land at the base of the tower. I can't get out fast enough. A lot of people say this should be the end of the story. It's just a bird strike. But it's not the end for me. I grieve for the person who got on the aircraft that night. I'm still working towards regaining control. <laughs>